Thanks for dropping in. If you watched last week's video, and then kept on watching past the closing, you saw this. Number 10. Desk Clearing Mechanism. Initial Test. It works. This desk cleaning device was created just for that 15 second joke. But apparently a few people wanted to know more. So I guess I'll do that. This design was inspired by car windshield wipers. They swing around wildly, make a ton of noise, and aren't all that great at doing their job. Perfect for an absurd 3D print. I've got to admit that the mechanics involved are a little crazy and pretty fascinating. Here's a windshield wiper transmission. The thing that through pure geometry converts the rotating motion of a motor into a reciprocating motion in the wiper blades. This frankly makes no sense to me, but maybe if I see it in action, that'll help. Here's an animated 3D model created by Alexander Sorare. Yeah, it still looks a little like dark magic, but I did get enough from these and a few other diagrams to throw stuff into a CAD program and see what came out. And what came out of that effort was this. Yeah, it actually worked on the first try. Well, mostly worked. There's a single spot in the mechanism cycle where the blade could go in one of two different directions. It's right at this point. If I rotate the gear clockwise, but give the blade the slightest nudge to the right, the blade moves right. Yet, if I still rotate the gear clockwise and give the blade the slightest nudge to the left, it goes left. The direction the gear rotates does not affect the direction the windshield wiper blade moves. Instead, it's influenced by that slight nudge. So in operation, what provides that nudge? Well, the momentum of the blade itself. After building momentum in the first half of a swing, the blade will continue the rest of its arc automatically. Mostly automatically. At least 70% of the time, it continues in the correct direction automatically. And that's perfect for a 15 second clip of a joke 3D print. If you'd like a copy of this absurd thing, I've posted it on Thingiverse. I must admit, I'm a little curious to see if anyone actually prints and uses it. If you do, let me know. Until the next video, thanks for stopping by. Versus Zelda! Zelda wins!